we'll we'll say this is a legitimate fintech that you launched, right? Yes. I come in third party. I live in Russia. I have an identity that I purchased. He's a United States citizen named John Smith. I also have access to his Chase Bank account. Um, I have all of his info. I transfer ten thousand dollars in uh, via ACH, and I can do multiple things now in a very short period of time. I can purchase crypto. I can go buy Apple products. Uh, I can transfer it to another fintech. I can put it through a P2P system. Um, but my goal is to get money from Chase onto your platform and then off as soon as possible because the real John Smith is obviously going to notice that $10,000 is missing from his account. He's going to contact Chase. He's going to say, I didn't authorize this ACH transfer. Uh, and Chase is going to send a return code. It's going to be an R10. You know, this, this wasn't authorized by our user. And that $10,000 that was at the FinTech that got spent is going to get pulled back by Chase. So now you are minus 10K at the FinTech. Um, so say this was your only customer. He brought in 10,000. He spent all of it. But now Chase is saying that's our $10,000 that wasn't authorized. And you are now minus $10,000. And that has to be recovered somehow. Uh, usually, unfortunately, it has to get written off. 